In a future review, could we possibly have an update on Thanksgiving Miracle? Oh my god, I forgot to pick him up from soccer practice! I'm Chekhov27, and I am here to pick you up from soccer practice! Shut up, Mob! I know who you are, and I know why you're here! Just take me home already! Hey, come on, buddy. That's not very nice. Yeah? You know what's not very nice, Mom? Being late to pick up your only son from soccer practice! Hey, come on! I mean, I was only a little late. I've been waiting here for months! Patience is a virtue, Thanksgiving miracle. Shut up, Mom! God, you're so fucking annoying! Hey, come on, buddy. I know I messed up, but... I'm sorry. Hey, I know what'll cheer you up. I swear to God, if you say a video game review, I am going to lose my fucking a video game review. God fucking damn it. Hey, you. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking to you. Put your dick away, because I got a question for you. Do you like passing a ball between two goalposts for seemingly countless hours until someone gets a ball into a net? Uh, you know what? Let me rephrase that. Do you like alpacas? Ah! These are basically the same question. If you happen to smoke as much crack cocaine as I do, Alpaca Ball All-Stars is a game in which you control an alpaca who rams his head into various balls until the aforementioned balls are pleased enough to go into the opposing goal. And if there's one thing I'm good at, it's smacking my head into balls. Oh yeah, this episode's getting kind to gay. Alpaca Ball takes the basic rules of what is known as soccer in America and as football in countries where molesting children is more than just a pastime. It's a tradition, goddammit! Uh, well, <laughs> it's an interesting way of putting it. So, customize your alpaca, put on your trusty soccer condom, and get out on that field. Make sure you score a few goals out there so your parents don't think that you're a fucking disappointment. My god, Martha! It seems that our son is woefully incapable of scoring a single goal in Alpaca Bowl! I told you we should have aborted him! Alpaca Ball All-Stars is a physics-based soccer game. Now, what does that mean? Well, it means that the controls are something that you're gonna have to get used to, and that being good at it requires skill beyond being able to press a button at the correct time. With that being said, the controls are incredibly simple. You have three different ways to hit the ball. A shot on goal, a back shot, and a double jump super shot. That will render any alpaca caught in its path unconscious for a few seconds. This is why we wear our alpaca ball condoms boys and girls. Ah! Yes, moving on. You also have a dash, which can be used to get a little boost, as well as knock those other alpacas out for a few seconds. Lick my alpaca balls! There are also various power-ups that are given to you randomly throughout the game. And honestly, some of them are kind of bullshit. Specifically the one that allows you to control the ball after hitting it. It's basically just an automatic goal power-up. But besides that, the others are pretty okay. Plus, if you don't like them, you can just turn them off. Besides that, you also have different balls. You got a soccer ball, a volleyball, a beach ball, football, and a... Wait a second, is that a... F is that a fucking... Holy fuck! This game's got fucking ice hockey! Man, I fucking love ice hockey! This shit makes my dick so fucking hard! God damn it, my fucking... I'm jerking it fucking... Mom! What? Can you stop spazzing the fuck out? Just finish the fucking review. I wanna go home. Hey! Don't tell me how to do my job, Thanksgiving Miracle. I don't come down to soccer practice and tell you how to jerk off your teammates. You don't even come to soccer practice to pick me up! Then what am I doing right now? Ugh!
Just finish your fucking video! Alpaca Ball is definitely a simple game, but that's not a bad thing. It's surprisingly a good amount of fun. I wasn't expecting too much going into it, but I am happy with what I got. It's definitely janky, but in all the right ways. Difficult at first, but once you figure it out, it can be good fun, especially with friends. And if you don't have friends, you can play the campaign. It doesn't amount to much more beyond playing different games of Alpaca Ball throughout different stages with different team layouts, but it's enough to keep your interest. At least until you get to the level in which you have to play alpaca ball with your dead father. Yeah, I know, it sounds weird. The story is a bit odd. And honestly, I wasn't really paying attention. Something about an evil alpaca trying to take your land, so you gotta go to London to become the best alpaca ball player, so that you can get your land back by challenging the evil alpaca to a game of alpaca ball, but instead of a ball, you play with a bomb, which allows you to murder him in cold blood, and that makes your dead alpaca father proud. Or horny. I don't know, I wasn't really paying attention. Look, the moral of the story is always wear a condom when playing alpaca ball! Other than that, the game functions quite well, which is surprising considering it was made in Unity, a video game engine that was developed on a budget of three extra toasty Cheez-Its and the corpse of a dyslexic gay hedgehog. On top of that, the game looks great. No complaints in the visual department. It's nice and colorful and there are plenty of great stages to pick from, like ice level, volcano level, definitely not fall guys level. It's a good amount of fun. If anything, it is a little bland. Once you get through everything, you realize just how simplistic the game really is, which leads to it getting a bit stale after a few hours. It feels like something that could benefit from a few additions. Maybe different animals to play as, or some more game modes like dodgeball or golf. It's not perfect, but it's a good amount of fun. If this game looks like something that you would enjoy, I recommend that you give it a shot. However, if you don't like simple physics-based games, you might not have a lot of fun here. Either way, I'm giving this game a three out of five. See, don't you feel better now, Thanksgiving Miracle? I haven't bathed in several months. Well, that sounds like a you problem. A thick and veiny thank you to the wonderful workforce who have been working their big, beautiful booties to literal death in my cherry orchard. I like big butts, and I cannot lie. Last week, I was having a relaxing soak in my bathtub, playing with my assortment of themed rubber duckies. I'm gonna make Obama ducky and Sonic ducky make the fuck out. When, all of a sudden, I felt a steady stream of warm water brush against my inner thigh. Obviously, someone was peeing in my bathtub. So, I called the KGB, who immediately burst into my bathroom and began interrogating all of my rubber duckies. Unfortunately, none of them were willing to confess to the crime. So, we did what we had to do and sent all of them to the electric chair. No, don't take him from me! No! There is no need to thank me. I simply work to protect the sanctity of my inner thigh.